Hello and welcome to my Star Wars The Old Republic Let's Play series. This is episode 48 of my series for the Republic Trooper, where we are following two Maz and Roe as he seeks to defeat General Raken of the Sith Empire. We join him above his on his starship as he gets ready to head to the planet Coruscant to speak to the Sith. So, let's, uh... To talk to me, so let's do that first. Our opportunity has arrived, sir. We've received intelligence reports that Colonel Rebus is about to test his latest project. A secret proving ground has been established on Hoth. Security will be extensive, but nothing compared to Rebus's usual protection. Sounds like you've got your opening. Neutralizing Colonel Rebus will devastate the Empire's weapons programs. Even I cannot calculate the number of lives that this mission could save. By robbing our enemies of their most despicable weapons, we will rob them of victory, ensuring freedom for generations to come. It was a trap, sir. Colonel Rebus was even more devious than I had expected. You're here, so I'm guessing the trap didn't work. Affirmative. In spite of the odds arrayed against me, I still managed to prevail. All of the hints and clues that led me to Rebus were fabricated. It was all a scheme to capture my power core. As soon as I defeated the last of the Imperial security teams and confronted Rebus, he activated a specially built device that overloaded my primary energy controls. I was frozen! How did you manage to turn the tables on him? As Rebus and his final few guards approached, I discovered that I still had control over a handful of secondary subsystems. By manipulating those systems, I was able to trigger a full emergency shutdown and a rear servo lock, violently propelling me forward just as Rebus came to face me. I guess that's one way to take someone down. It was a desperate ploy, but it was successful. As I'd hoped, Shutting down my power core caused Rebus's device to shut down as well. All systems were restored within 96 seconds. Rebus's surviving guards were still attempting to lift me off of him at the time, so I dealt with them and carried the colonel back to base. Mission accomplished. That's definitely one for the records, Forex. With Rebus in custody, the entire galaxy is a safer place. It will be some time before I can locate an even more impressive target. As soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. Hey, let's go talk about the Regress. Just got off the hollow with Torf. He asked me to thank you for getting him out of that labor camp. He's starting to see the danger the other Dead Eyes are in. Anxious for us to find them. We could use him when we rescue the rest of the Dead Eyes. SIS already has him tied up in debriefs. Pretty much exchanged one cell for another. It was a mistake to trust a snake like Zane, but Tor's heart was in the right place. I just hope this mistake doesn't get any of those men killed. Hey. Alara, what do you have to say? I've been wondering what life will be like when the war finally ends. I've always known that there will be peace eventually, but... It'd be nice to finally take some vacation. Hopefully there will be at least a few beautiful places left to visit. All that truly matters is that I have you with me. Whatever the future brings. I want you to be a part of my life, no matter what may come. I want to be with you forever. Let's go ahead and pull the trigger. Marry me, Alara. We'll face the future together. You mean it? I... <laughs> yes! <laughs> we'll have to do things properly someday. A military ceremony, dress uniforms. Do you think General Garza would officiate? I doubt the General gets many opportunities like that these days. All too true. I'll start composing a formal request. Form 5763W. If I'm not mistaken. For now, just know I'm yours. 
now and forever. I'll always be with you. I love you. I have reprogrammed your vessel's food processor to reduce the crew's caloric intake. Some of them were growing a bit thick. What do you got, Mr. Yun? Just tell me what needs to happen. I can lend a hand. I hope you find what you're looking for. Great to hear that things went well, Yoon. Ready, boss. I've got Lord Albrecht's location on Alderaan and all of the files that prove the debt. I just have to walk in, show the files, act tough, and we can both become a little bit richer. This guy must have gotten a lot of weapons from Magrin or he wouldn't owe so much. Yeah, the old kook bought enough blasters to outfit a whole platoon. He probably can't lift a single one of them. The guy's pushing 70 years old. What could go wrong? See you when I've got the credits. That was ridiculous. Turns out there's two Lord Albrechts. A father-son team. A crazy old man and stuck-up little punk team, really. <laughs> Neither of them had a single credit. And both of them had promised to sell the guns to three different buyers apiece. How did you deal with them? It took a lot of wrangling, but I managed to get those two saps into the same room with all of their buyers. Then I lobbed a couple of grenades in. Most of the buyer's credits were still in one piece afterward, so I'm calling it a win. You murdered eight people just for some credits? Nah, there were more than that. The buyers <laughs> wouldn't show up without muscle after all. Let's hope the next rundown isn't so tough. The stress might ruin my looks. Okay. That one, proficient, is going to give me accuracy, so I'm going to take that one. That's sell, because I'm already at max rep. Yeah, I don't want to lose accuracy on those. Let's go ahead and sell this junk. Report to General Garza. 
General Garza, I hadn't expected you here, or Agent Bulger. The Senate situation is more complicated than I could explain via Hollow. I couldn't be certain my office wasn't being monitored. What I said before was accurate. The Senate has called a hearing to investigate the actions of Special Forces, Havoc Squad specifically. But what I couldn't say was that the Senator behind these proceedings is actually an undercover agent for the Empire. The entire hearing is a sham. How could the Empire possibly get an agent elected to the Senate? They didn't. They just bought someone who was already in place. We have the evidence right here. His name's Zion. He represents a tiny little rock in the middle of some very profitable trade lanes. With the help of Imperial Intelligence, Senator Zion has slowly gained influence. Now he's turning that influence against us. It's just another shot from dear old General Rackton. Zion gets Havoc suspended. Rackton gets the break he needs to turn the war back his way. What's our move? Arrest Zion? Not exactly. The military doesn't have that kind of authority. And detaining Zion would only fuel his accusations that we abuse our power. I want you to attend the hearing just as the Senate has asked. We can't risk him getting away. Go and conduct yourself respectfully. When it's your turn to speak, present the evidence the SIS has gathered. The Senate will have to investigate, and we'll be free to resume operations. Do we have a backup plan in case the evidence isn't enough? The evidence is indisputable. That won't be an issue. Remember, Senator Zion will do his best to paint you as a loose cannon. Don't do anything to prove him right. I'll be waiting in my office. Report back to me as soon as the hearing is complete. Dismissed. Have fun, Major. Not my idea of fun. boost. Uh, I'm gonna put that there, and we are gonna look at abilities. Um, vehicles. Rocket boost. Let's see if I can bite my tongue. Zian's followers. Zian. Couple guards. Uh, can't be that bad. Welcome, Major. We appreciate you taking the time to come and respond to our concerns in person. Senator Zion, you may proceed. Thank you. As many of you are aware, Havoc Squad is widely considered to be the finest infantry team in the Republic military. Their reputation earns them a great deal of leeway, so much that they have become a danger to the Republic itself. My friends and colleagues, what is it that Havoc Squad actually does, day in and day out? Disturbingly, almost no one knows for sure. We all remember the mysterious disappearance of Havoc Squad's previous commander. No doubt, a crime was committed and covered up. And that nonsense with the so-called Gauntlet Superweapon. An astronomically expensive operation to destroy a science project whose danger was never substantially proven. And it was only after that reckless operation that the Empire attacked us with full force. Why wasn't the Senate consulted beforehand? I will end with this simple fact. Since the war broke out, Havoc Squad hasn't made a single trip to the front lines. If all of the Republic's battles are being won and lost without the help of our best team, then it's time we made changes. Thank you, Senator Zion. Major, if you'd like to make a response, you may begin now. 
The Senator speaks very persuasively, but not truthfully. I have evidence here proving that Senator Zion is a paid agent for the Sith Empire. This is outrageous. Are we really going to tolerate wild accusations like this? The Commander of Havoc Squad deserves more than to be dismissed out of hand. Preposterous. I called this hearing to present facts, not paranoid delusions. The imps paid you to shut us down. That's what this is about. Please, let's all remain calm. I see no reason we couldn't delay these proceedings momentarily to evaluate this new evidence. Guards, seal the area and allow no one to leave until we are prepared to reconvene. Senator Zion. In light of this evidence, I must order that you be detained by the Senate Guard, pending charges for high treason. But this is insane! I'm no traitor! Whatever you've seen, it must be a forgery. Some kind of military conspiracy. Please accept our apologies, Major. I hope you understand that you were called here with the best of intentions. You have a duty to ensure that we're acting in the Republic's best interest. That's right. And rest assured that your tireless efforts in the Republic's defense are greatly appreciated. Given the change in circumstances brought about by new evidence, I hereby adjourn this meeting immediately. Major, you're dismissed. Okay. We made it out of that one in one piece. And I bit my lip. But say nothing choices. Lieutenant Mai, I'm General Garza's new assistant. It's a real honor to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Lieutenant. Could I see the General? I'm afraid General Garza had to leave, an urgent situation on Corellia. I can put you through to her via hollow if you like. That would be great, Lieutenant. One moment, please. Major, I understand our dilemma has been taken care of. Reports are already circulating about Zion's secondary income. Rackton could have buried us with this one. If the SIS hadn't come through, if you hadn't convinced the Senate to review their evidence, we would be finished. Well done. Catching traitors is just standard operating procedure. Hopefully, this will be the last traitor we have to deal with for a long while. Join me on Corellia as quickly as possible. General Rackton has taken the field personally. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. I'll get Havoc to Corellia on the double, General. I'll give you a detailed briefing after you touch down. Garza out. General Rackton? It sounds like you better hurry, Major. Good luck. So yes, Corellia is our last planet, so we're going to go to our ship. Um, looks like Arik wants to talk with us. Outstanding news, sir. We've got a positive fix on the Deadeye's location. Took them long enough. But my sources finally got the rest of those coordinates decrypted. The data points to an Imperial outpost on Hoth. Another labor camp, most likely. Let's get down there and bring those soldiers home. Right behind you, sir. Once we get those men out of there, we can put all this craziness behind us. I just hope we're not too late. Hey. Have a full episode for Corellia. Let's go 
make the planet fall. Let's bring Arik with us this time. Moving out. And we will summon Arik. Locked and loaded. Um, I do want to look at this. On your feet. Republic classes. I still haven't unlocked any of this. Plasma grenade. Once I unlock that. But you can see here, this is, I'm missing, uh, one person's, uh, Mako's. I think it was, no, it's not Mako. Kira. I'm missing Kira on my Jedi Knight. down there, so let's go take a uh, transport. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there. a little bug up and at him because it's got that uh the galaxy wide conquest thing still showing let's go rescue the dead eyes I don't like places that say sanctuary because they're usually near heroic areas. Yep. Rift Hills Research Outpost. Oh, follow this road around. Oh. 
it wants us to cut through here. That's Empire territory. Um, that is not going to work. We're going to have to bamf back. I am not going to fly through an Empire tunnel. Up and Adam. Um. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be safe out there. Go to that one. See if we can get south through there. Gotta be kidding me. Well, we're gonna go for it. We will speed our way through the tunnel, um, even if we have the death block through, I guess. trying to expose the map. On your feet. I will say, whenever we get to this new zone, we are going to... Hopefully, find ourselves a speeder point or a bamf point to get the heck out of there. to the road. Yes, we one death walk.
No way. Dang it. Well, this is going to be interesting. Report your ailments. Open Adam. You are fit for duty. Uh, Return to your post. Let's try. Unfortunately, it, it wouldn't let me uh, res there, which sucks. Okay. That's that ice wall that we can't get around. like a Republic camp? Or is this just a uh, medical service? if we found some Republic stuff, guys. Got a Tall's Commander. A Frostbite Lake. this zone down here. I just want to get it mapped and then I'll turn around. Gotta be something Republic around here. Please don't tell me you're down in the gorge. Is that Republic? Oh, it looks like it's Empire. Is 
We're gonna go down that little gorge. Yeah, I think I'm close enough. Kill anybody unless I need to get through. neck to get to. engine of some sort. Barracks. Hal. You two still breathing? Uh, more or less. Didn't expect to see you here, sir. Nor I. Care to tell me what you two are doing here? What are you doing here? My job. Don't you get it? This operation was never about rescuing POWs. We've been after one thing, Dusk Nine. Impossible. That place is just a myth. Is it? We'll never know now, thanks to you two. I must be missing something. What's Dusk Nine? It's nothing. Just a spook story the Imperials concocted to scare us. Next to the Emperor's location, Dusk Nine is the Empire's best kept secret. Hundreds of Black Ops projects are born there. It's also a prison, according to the rumors. The things that supposedly go on there, too horrible to be real. We're more interested in the intel hoarded there. We seeded thousands of bugged soldiers into the Imperial penal system, hoping for a bite. The Dead Eyes are one of the Republic's top sniper squads. Couldn't you have found someone less valuable? We thought their notoriety might earn them a ticket to Dusk Nine. We were mistaken. We were using the wrong bait. The brass at Dusk Nine weren't interested in common soldiers. But how could they resist an SIS agent? So, I bugged myself, staged a bogus rescue operation, and let myself be captured. I was awaiting transfer when you two geniuses showed up. You can still go on with your mission. You don't think the Imperials will be just a... Teensy bit suspicious that you rescued the Dead Eyes, yet conveniently left me behind? Now, I have no choice but to abort my mission and try again somewhere else. 
Sir, we can deal with Zane later. Let's just find the rest of the squad and get out of here. Jorgen, sir, they're dead. The cold, they didn't make it. What? Trace? Copland? They're gone? But I thought... Zane. Now you've done it. What? It's not my fault they weren't properly insulated. You kill them. You promised them a rescue that never came, and now they're dead for it. How many other soldiers have died for you? Huh? A hundred? A thousand? You can't kill me, Jorgen. Too many witnesses. As far as we're concerned, sir, the Imperials killed him. What? Wait, you can't just... Major, do something! Holster that weapon, soldier, before I have you thrown in the brig. Fine. He's not worth it anyway. Much obliged. As for you, you think you can pull a blaster on me and walk away? I'll see you in prison for that. You'll have every soldier in the Republic gunning for you if this gets out. I... right. Consider my lips sealed. Let's get these men back to their squad. I'll call for an evac. They're off, sir. Mission accomplished. You doing all right? Honestly, I'd rather not talk about it right now, sir. Let's just get out of here. To our ship. And go talk to Arik. Sir, I'd like to apologize for my behavior earlier. When I heard about Trace and Copland, I... I just lost it. Would have done something stupid if you hadn't stopped me. Losing a friend is no easy thing. I can accept it when a comrade falls in battle, but those men were sold out. I'd have been no better than Zane if I pulled that trigger. I'd just be another thug doing whatever it took to get his way. You're a good soldier, Jorgen. Don't forget that. Thank you, sir. There's always going to be men like Zane calling the shots in the Republic. Can't kill all of them. Better to work with the system than against it. The Republic needs more soldiers like you. You'll make it to the top someday. Don't know that I'll ever trust the brass again, but I trust you, sir. You kept me from making the biggest mistake of my life. I won't forget that. Okay. Croissant. Not Croissant Corellia. Major, good. Now that you've arrived, we can begin operations in earnest. Imperial forces, including General Rakton, have invaded Corellia in full force. Local resistance fighters have barely held them back from total victory. Corellia is the tipping point for the entire war. If the Imperials win here, they could reverse all our hard-fought advances. Corellia won't fall to the Empire on my watch. Your target is the Bastion. One of the main centers for logistics and strategic planning in the entire Republic. Rakton seized the Bastion during the invasion. He's clearly hoping to use the information inside to plan his next campaign against us. It's your job to stop him. Just tell me where to begin, General. The Bastion is one of the most heavily secured fortresses in the galaxy. Your team will need a lot of support to take it. To get the necessary manpower into the field, we're working with a local resistance leader, a Corellian security officer named Locke. What do we know about this guy, General? 
A great deal, actually. Before he entered Corsic, Locke served in special forces under my command. He's a dependable soldier, and he knows Corellia very well. We'll discuss the details once you arrive. We've set up our command center in a former cantina, the Gilded Descent. I'll move out right away, General. Watch for targets of opportunity, Major. Imperial commando teams are all over the area. See you soon. Garza out. Okay, we are going to exit the ship. And that's where we will end the episode once I swap back to Alara. Looks like we have an orbital station. Up and at him. Oh, maybe we're in a spaceport. This ends episode 48 of my Star Wars The Old Republic, Republic Trooper Let's Play. Join us next time as we continue to follow the exploits of Mazen on the planet Corellia. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you are notified of new content. You can also check out my other playlists that cover the other storylines for the various Old Republic classes. I ask that you leave me comments, either positive or negative, as they help me improve my content. Again, thank you, and for the Republic.